wider stack and wider mouth. So you are going to do six sets of experiments and you need to find what is the limiting reactant in this experiment. Science and technology is placing very important role in the society now, science and technology. And then chemistry is part of it and then students have a if they pursue chemistry and then they can get any kind of job, Most they can get a t teacher job, they can be an engineer, they can be a doctor, they can be a pharmacist, okay. they can go several different, they can be environmentalist, they can go to different fields by pursuing chemistry as a major. How much volume you can get from this pipette? You can only get 10 milliliters. 10 milliliters, right? So how to use pipetting out is a technique that you have to know. So you have to make sure you clear out the air. It has to suck that, right? So you're going to slowly, slowly, and then. Well, for male, the better you are at male, you um, the pretty, pretty much the better you are at, chem at chemistry. Because if you're, if you're good at getting male just like this, then chemistry will be a snap for you. Basically, I was mixing a solute and solvent to make one solution. It's basically like baking a cake, you know, using milk and uh, let's say flour and just making it all into one mixture. Moles. And from moles, what do you do? You go backwards and get how much you need to start. Well, in today's experiment, we were using hydrochloric acid and even though on a usual basis, that would be a very strong acid. We used it, diluted it, so it was weak. We used instrumentation to calculate the amount of unknown acid in the receiving class by measuring the amount of base or titrant it takes to neutralize the acid. Chemistry is just very interesting. Although it may seem like a boring subject, there are so many fun things in it with experiments and labs or even just research. You learn so much that you just can't help but to have fun. What about the concentration of this solution, 0 0.05? Not necessarily every time it is given. So I'm giving two solutions to those two teams. The concentration of one solution is known and concentration of other solution is unknown. They it is shown that chemists will make uh, like athletes what they make, but they probably they have put into so many years of experience, time, like athletes will put so much time into their training and coaching Similarly, chemistry will put their time into learning new things and inventions, and when you compare, probably both of them are making same money. And we were talking about antacid today in the class, you heard about that. So the pharmacist will work on how much exact amount they have to give to neutralize the extra acid that is there in your stomach whenever you have a over uh, eating of uh, some kind of cheese or whatever it is. So you have stomach pain, you take antacid, which neutralize, so that right amount has to be done, so pharmacists will do that. Engineers also use chemistry. Biomed students use um, chemistry. Medical students use chemistry. So chemistry is everywhere. This is what your 10 mil. What did you say? We need to add?